All right, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. I kind of touched on this the other day. Um, here's a little bit more context. I told y'all I'll come back with more. By the way, you can check my website out, itsmrt.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Add is Mr. Telefero for your latest updates, content, all that stuff. All right, and you can talk to me on Twitter, Instagram. I'm, I'm watching a lot of basketball this time of the year, so we can communicate about a lot of things, all right, on my social media accounts. We're talking Kevin Gates. Um, he has been denied bail, which means he'll remain behind bars. All right, Kevin had a bond here on Wednesday at Bridgeview Courthouse in Illinois, but the judge said no to any bond on his weapons case. All right, for those who don't know, Kevin Gates finally got done with the um, five months he did. He had a six month sentence. He did five months from kicking a fan um, at a show. He did five of those six months, and upon release, he was sent to Illinois to address a weapons charge that he had um, in the past while he was on the road in Illinois. All right? He'll remain in Kendall County Jail. I don't know why he was denied bond. One could assume, well, I don't know, maybe the judge listened to the music that Kevin Gates makes. Or I'll tell you this. This is what it really could be. And I don't know this for a fact. This is just speculation right, right here. It could be, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When Kevin's in the courtroom, there's video footage online. He's not the, I've seen a lot of rappers and honestly just a lot of people switch their whole aura, their whole mode when they get in that courthouse. It's yes, sir, no, sir. It's respecting the judge. And, and, and a lot of, I've seen a lot of people get off that way. It just doesn't, Kevin Gates doesn't strike me as that guy to have any respect for the law. When Kevin's in that courtroom, the facial expressions tell everything. I mean, he's just literally in there like, whatever you're going to do, do it, nigga. Like, I don't got time to be playing no games with you. And it that could be a reason why he's not getting bond because the judge doesn't feel as though he's learned his lesson. Again, he'll remain in Kendall County Jail. And um, I told you the other day that the show that he had for today actually got canceled, um, which means the family might have knew this a couple days ago that he wasn't getting out no time soon. There is no timetable for his release. This was not supposed to be this long. Honestly, I don't know what the hell is going on with Kevin Gates right now in this situation. This weapons charge was supposed to be the least of Kevin Gates' problems. I mean, the brother is a father, and he has not been able to see I'm pretty sure he has not been able to, to see his kids in a while. Um, this is going on longer than I expected, man. It's going to cut into the summer. You know, all artists are trying to get their music together to be able to tour this summer. It's April now, end of April. I mean, maybe you could expect him to be released top of May, I'm guessing, hopefully. I don't know when his trial is, you know, whatever is going to take place in the next court hearing. But right now, Kevin Gates is still locked up, and he has been denied bond, and um, he's been denied bail, and he had a bond hearing Wednesday, and the judge declined to give him Bell. All right. After Tell Farrell, Mr. Tell Farrell TV. Thank you for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. And I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at 